Hi, and welcome back to my channel. So I'm super excited about today's coaching video because today I'm going to share seven ways to conquer fear. So some people are afraid of failure and some people are truly afraid of success. Regardless of the source of your fear, it immobilizes too many, too many people and prevents them from achieving what they desire and are capable of achieving. So there's no sure way to fail than to never try. So here are seven ways that you can overcome fear and make this year the one that you have been hoping and dreaming for. So number one, understand and embrace fear. See, fear isn't designed to keep us from being unsuccessful. It's designed to make us think twice and make the right decisions. Embrace your fear, but don't let it control you. And I mean that, you guys. Stop letting fear control you. Number two, call your fear by name. Speaking your fear makes it easy to handle. Speaking it by name and then face it. You speak it by name and then face it head on. So that means you can say, I have a fear of heights. I have a fear of success. I have a fear of commitment. I have a fear of relationships. I have a fear of leaving my house. Whatever that fear is, call that thing by name. And then it takes some of the power out of the fear. If you, if you understand where I'm going with that. You call it by name. It's not as powerful as you thought it was. Ignoring your fear won't make it go away, but it will keep you from accomplishing your goals. Number three, educate yourself. Learn what you don't know. If your fear is based on a lack of information, then get the inf information or the knowledge that you need to examine the situation based on facts rather than speculation. Educate yourself. I cannot stress that enough. Number four, choose your inner circle wisely. And y'all know I talk about that all the time. Surround yourself with people who will push you to overcome the fear or the fears that are holding you back from achieving the things that you want to achieve. Number five, get the help that you need. I can't stress that enough, you guys. Whatever you're afraid of, is it something that you have to do alone? Can you find a mentor or a support group to help you through it? Athletes have coaches. Students have teachers. Sometimes friends, even if they have no experience in an area that you're trying to deal with or struggling with, they can provide needed support to help you face your fears. So don't feel like you have to go it alone. Number six, have a positive attitude. In Brian Tracy's book, The Power of Self-Confidence, he talks about, it says, become unstoppable irresistible and unafraid in every area of your life. He says what you should do differently if you were absolutely get no I'm sorry what would you do differently if you were absolutely guaranteed of success in any undertaking? Would you try more things? Would you keep working long after others would have given up? People who have positive attitudes are successful because they keep trying after other folks have given up. Number seven, be willing to change. Can't stress this enough. So as the old adage goes, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. But then there's another saying that insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over. I'm going to keep going on and over and over again. I added the extra overs. Looking for a different result. So if you're afraid to do something again because it didn't work out the first time, figure out why it didn't work. That's the key. You need to know why it didn't work. And then try something different before you give up altogether, okay? Y'all, that's really all I have for today, but I'm going to do a quick recap because you know I like to recap, and then I'm going to let you be. So again, today I talked about the seven ways that you can conquer fear. Too many people allow fear to keep them from doing what they want. Do you know right now, somebody's watching this video and thinking, I would love to do what Michelle does, but I'm just afraid to, to get out there and do it. Now, let me let you in on a little secret, too. My laptop just died, and I saw that I needed to charge the battery. So this is what happens when you have a child that uses your stuff, because I have two laptops. I have the one I'm, I was using to, with my notes, and another one sitting over here, and both of them need to be charged up. So I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be able to do a recap for you, but I did want to just continue on with what I was talking about with the fear thing. We are missing out on too many great things in life, you guys, because we're afraid. I need you guys to stop being afraid and step out there and start living your life. Start accomplishing your dreams. Stop sitting back and going, oh my God, I would love to do stuff, but I'm just so afraid. And so many of us live behind this right here because we're afraid. Do you realize there are so many people that, that have social media accounts because they're afraid to get out there and meet people? 
people in person. That's a real thing, whether you know it or not. And so they live behind this phone or they live behind this laptop because they're afraid to get out there and meet people. So they use that as a way and they can get on these social sites, social media sites and things. And honey, they can talk up a storm and have the best conversations and meet the best people. And, you, and you're thinking, wow, this person is amazing. I would love to meet them in person, but you would never will. Why? Because they won't leave from behind this screen. They feel comfortable behind the screen. And, and, and so I want you guys to stop being afraid. Whatever it is that you're afraid of, if you're afraid of talking in front of people, go and sign up at your church. Get a small group and talk about something. But just get out there and do it because you're never going to overcome that fear if you don't step out there and do it. And I'm going to go a step further and say you've got to step out on faith that God is going to see you through whatever it is or whoever it is that you pray to, see you through whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish because I promise you, it can be done. You just have to truly, truly want it. I'm trying to see if I can pull this up on my phone, y'all, because I do have my notes on my phone. Let's see if I can open it up and go over it with you because I do want to do a, a recap for you all. And let's see. Yep, here it is. Okay, so here it is. So here's my recap. Let me turn this way so I can see it. So, again, I gave you seven steps to overcome fear. First one, I said, understand and embrace your fear. You've got to understand it, and then you have to embrace it, because you can't get past it if you don't do those two things. Number two, I said, call your fear by name. Give that fear a name. I have a fear of, of public speaking. I have a fear of making new friends. I have a fear of going new places. I have a fear of cutting on my camera and hitting record and doing videos for social media or doing doing videos for youtube whatever platform that you want to do them for call that fear by name because when you do that you take the sting out of it a little bit and it doesn't seem as overwhelming as it did before and then it'll allow you to ease into mastering that thing number three educate yourself you've got you have to learn what you don't know and you'd be surprised a lot of things that we don't know that we probably need to learn and and we will as life goes on but learn what you don't know then that way you can face each situation based on facts and not just what you, you, you think you know or what somebody told you. Number four, choose your inner circle wisely. Can't stress that enough. You need to be careful of who's in your inner cir circle because not only do you need people in your inner circle that's going to push you to do great things, but you need people in your inner circle that are going to say, uh-uh, Michelle, I'm not going to allow you to keep living in fear and not stepping out there and speaking and doing whatever it is that you want to do. You're going to do it, and you're going to do it afraid, okay? Number five, get the help you need. If you need some help from somebody other than yourself, then get that help. If you need a counselor, get one. If you need a life coach, get one. You hear what I'm saying? Get the help that you need so that you can su succeed in life. Number six, have a positive attitude. It, it always helps to have a positive attitude, okay? You have to have that. And then lastly but not least, be willing to change. You guys, you have to be willing to change because... Like I said, that old adage of, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. But then you always have to think about that other saying that says, uh, what did I say? Lord, I forgot just that quick. The other saying that says, insanity. Mm, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again. And we added, I added a couple of extra overs to that, expecting a different result. You cannot do that. You've got to be willing to change. Because if you don't if you're not willing to change, you're just gonna be stuck. And y'all know I like to do my my little um show and tell for you when I show you how what stuck being looks like, and that's like this. This is stuck. I can't go left, I can't go right, I can't go forward or backwards because I'm stuck with this with this this oh stuck with this fear these two things together see this is is you and this is your fear and you're stuck with it and then what is insanity doing the same thing over and over again looking for a different result in order for you not to do that you've got to change you've got to change the way you think so your mindset has to be changed. You might need to change your inner circle. And then, and only then once you do that, can you free yourself from your fear and start living 
a whole life, a complete life, a fulfilled life. That's all I have, you guys. Thank you so much to my newest subscribers. Thank you so much to those of you that continue to support me in all that I do. I love you guys to the moon and back. And guess what? There's nothing you can do about it, so don't even try it. Because I'm going to love you anyhow. I'm going to love you when you're working through your fear. I'm going to love you even though it may make you afraid that I do love you. But I truly do love each and every one of you. And I want to see you succeed. So I want you to move past your fear. Stop allowing your fear to keep you living like this i want you to live like this where you're free free to be you free to do you stay out of that 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 bubble of fear it's not a good look for any of us until next time take care